Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm your instructor Joy. Thank you very much for your continued support. Sending me donations here and also in my Patreon page, booking lessons with me, and then sending me nice, kind questions, comments, and volunteering your time. I really, really appreciate. So this video will be an answer to a subscriber. This one is, and many of us are wondering, shoulder rest, doing a shoulder rest. Um, there are many different uh, discussion, uh, argument, reasoning, whether we need it, we don't need it, uh, and so on. I find that the answer is not that simple, uh, simply because we all have a different body type. And it, I think it's unfair to say um, so-and-so play just fine without it, therefore the whole world can play without it. Or so-and-so must have a shoulder rest, therefore the whole world must have it. I think because we all have a different shape, uh, a body type, it is important to understand what we need in order to play violin well and so it becomes a nice tool to express our musical ideas. Now, let me show you some guidance what you need, whether you use shoulder rest or not. When you, I personally prefer shoulder rest. I test it, I've gone through many different ways. I tested myself without it. Also, I tested some like light sponge which is a little between a shoulder rest or no shoulder rest step. I end up being with a very basic um, original Kuhn shoulder rest, nothing fancy. And um, But before I tell you what I have, let me show you first how you can uh, find a right, how you can make a right decision so that uh, violin playing becomes not a chore but enjoyable and comfortable way because you know violin playing is hard enough so make sure that the rest part the equipment is sitting well now when you hold a violin you should be able to hold the violin without squeezing your shoulder too much and that is one of the main reasons i most of times i advise against playing without shoulder rest simply because in order to hold it either a lot of violinists squeeze their shoulder or they end up holding violin with their hand. The problem is the left hand has to be completely free in order to vibrate and then shift. If you're holding violin, you also, or you're already in prison, you're already creating certain tension. So not only you're gonna be limited to be able to shift freely, but you already have a, a bad start creating tension by holding the left hand. So you should be able to hold the violin without squeezing your shoulder or without much help of left hand holding the violin. So this is how you should, you should look when you hold it. Make sure your neck is nice and straight and the violin is slightly in between, not too much centered, not too much far out, about 30 degrees from the center, something like that approximately. So that you can see what is going on on the left hand and the bow as well. So also we can see that one, yeah, something like that. Now, um, I'm going to tell you why my decision was with a shoulder rest. Um, just taken as an advice and you can uh, try it yourself. Especially when I play lower high string, lower high positions, that's when I have, when I realize I really need a shoulder rest. A little rigid form of shapes, which allows not only a little elevation of the violin, but also it holds on my shape of shoulder, it prevents from the violin from falling. Because when I go higher position, I have to tilt my violin and go like this. You see, I go quite high. And here, if I don't have anything holding at the edge of the shoulder rest, it could slip in here. Like that, where I have to tilt my violin quite a bit. And that's what I need, really um, strong support of the shoulder rest. I have tried it without it. If I do that, it's not impossible, but I end up holding firmer with the shoulder because I feel my violin is slipping away. Here. Here, I'm already raising my shoulder quite more. Yeah, it's not impossible, but it could fall any time. Um, I also tried a little foam. 
you know, which is, there are many different ways of form. I made my own. <laughs> some people buy the circle one, but just a little rubber band, which some beginners do, and then some um, violinists prefer that one that gives an extra cushion on the violin, but yet it's not elevating too much. It's a nice idea that gives a little cushion because you're holding violin in a bony part of the body. So, you know, there's almost no flesh. So giving a little cushion helps, but I encounter same problem as without shoulder rest. Lower position, that's fine. But as soon as I have a harder repertoire or a difficult part to play, such as high position on the G string, that's when I lose the support of violin and I have to hold the violin with my hand or with my shoulder. I don't know if you can see my shoulder coming up. I'm afraid that I'm going to drop the violin. That is basically why I chose, because it makes my violin playing easier. As soon as I get a little more advanced repertoire, such as high position, or especially on G string, or especially G string high position and loud and fast, that's when I need the support of shoulder rest, so I can go. I don't know. And I can. And I don't have to much hold it really, really far either. Yeah, that's the main reason. Um, now, why did I choose Kun instead of others? Again, I tried it probably around 10 to 13 shoulder rests that off top of my head if I remember, probably more. I've gone through many things. I ended up coming back very a simple regular one but I just wrapped it um, with a little extra cloth because there's a plastic parts and then I don't I did not want that one to scratch my violin so that's simply that's my personal preference that I do that. Now why do I like Kun um, um, original one? Um, I personally don't like very tall shoulder rest because it's important for you to have a little room to be able to adjust that one as you go higher positions. You need to tilt it or tip the violin when you play G string and then flatten your body as you go higher position on the E string and so on. So you need to have a little room to be able to adjust that, that degree of the violin as well as moving the violin from center to left. There's another one, very popular one, Wolf. Um, that's a little taller. Um, of course, there are many, many other uh, shoulder rests, but Wolf is the one it's another popular one. I find it though, it's a little tall for me. Yeah, and I, I can, I have a little less room to adjust. And then I can play, but at the end I'm having a little more neck pain because I'm working a little harder. That's a little tall for me. There's something similar like this brand name does not matter. It looks like, um, looks like a, a Kun, but a little rigider form, a little nice wooden wooden part which looks nice and fancy. I prefer plastic part <laughs> and then just rigid wooden form here. The reason being is the wooden part is not flexible. It does not move. It does not bend. It, it has a cushion but it does not bend. Whereas a plastic, um, even though it's not necessarily the most prettiest material, but it, it bends it. It bends and then uh, but it's rigid enough to hold certain shape, but I don't know if you can see here It oops, let's see. I don't know watch uh, that part here uh, the, this part. Let's see You can uh, I'm just getting tilted so it, it moves a bit. I don't know if you can see it So it gets a little more flexible. Oh, I'm shaking the valley isn't it? So here ah now do you see that? This part? So it becomes a little more flexible. Which means when I when I have to when I'm pushing a little unnecessarily hard, which I shouldn't do, but it can happen when the it gets exciting moment, uh, it adjusts itself so that my neck does not have to suffer. Does not say stiff, but it adjusts that one. That is why I personally prefer very simple shoulder rest. A little flexible one. It does not have to be this specific brand, but I personally find it a little rigid form to hold, uh, give enough support between 
the shape of your chest and shoulder, yet flexible enough so that it can adjust it. Um, not too tall, but just tall enough to support, but a little room for you to adjust and so on. That would be a good point, yeah? But make sure to try it yourself and then those points are more important than following specific brand or following a specific honest uh, preference. Yeah, test it yourself and you will be happy that you've done it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I wish you all happy and healthy violin playing. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye.